Hey everybody, what's going on? My name is Teeter, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders mod, and that includes the Water Shader mod. So, yeah, without further ado, let's go do that. <laughs> okay, so for the installation portion of this, um, it's really simple. All you got to do is, first you want to download the mods from Mediafire. I'll have the links in the description. And it'll be in zip format, so you want to have an archiver like WinRAR, uh, which I use. It's really good, I think. And the next thing, once they're downloaded, um, what you want to do is you can just open up Optifine and um, close that. Just click close. <laughs> you don't actually have to buy it. It's kind of silly. Um, so what you want to do is create a new folder. It doesn't matter where. It doesn't matter what you call it. Just new folder is fine because you're probably going to delete it in a little bit once you're done with this. And so open up... Um, this thing that says say SV 10 RC6 for Minecraft 1.4.6 and 1.4.7 and take all the files from here and put them into the new folder and you can exit out of this now and so what this is is the readme is just installation instructions for um, running with a magic launcher which we're not going to use so we're good and then the texture pack uh, you don't have to use this you can use it if you want to if you have any issues like uh, visual issues when you're actually playing minecraft with the mod um, installed then you want to use that texture pack and it should fix um, the things like the any water issues that you have uh, and then so now you have optifine open what you want to do is you want to go to run right in here you can just type in run or you can press the windows key and then R at the same time and then um, what you want to type into this is percent app data percent and okay it'll take you to your app data files and click on dot minecraft it'll be somewhere in this folder and then go to bin you're not going to edit any of the other files so okay so now you have minecraft and it'll be executable jar file you want to open this with winrar archiver or whatever archiver you use i use winrar it's good i like it um, okay, so you'll have a meta.inf folder in here. It'll say meta.inf in all caps, I think. And just delete that file. We um, you don't want that. That'll um, it, it, the mod won't work if you have that um, still in here. Um, and so for Optifine, all you got to do is take all these class folders and such, and put them into here. Just drag and drop, and then OK. And you cannot have Minecraft open for this. It will not. Uh, this. It won't let you move the files into this. It won't let you edit the minecraft.jar if it, if the jar file is actually running. So you can exit out of Optifine now. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to go to your new folder and open up this right here, this WinRAR file in here. And then take all of these class folders from here and put it into here. Just as simple as that. And there you go. You have it installed. And then you can run Minecraft. I'm gonna run at 720p. Open up your world. And boom, you got it installed. So I'm filming at 60 frames per second right now, I believe, and Minecraft is running at 25 to 30 FPS so it is pretty CPU intensive I have a pretty com powerful computer I got like an i7 processor um, and a pretty good hard drive too um, and it does slow it down quite a bit so Optifine helps with that it you can turn on max FPS um, how you might want to turn your graphics down smooth lighting I think really helps so, um, it really helps like raise your FPS rate yeah, and I'm kind of at oh, it raised it a bit. It's it's staying above uh, staying above 25, which is oh well, I guess not. <laughs> Never mind. But um, yeah, just the small things. And so I wouldn't recommend I wouldn't recommend using this for like everyday gameplay. I would recommend it for cinematics and such. And the texture pack, um, I haven't actually tried the texture pack, so I don't know how it looks. But you can give it a shot if you want. Anyway, that's how you download and um, install. I guess you guys already know how to download. That's how you install and um, use the uh, shaders mod for 1.4.6. And I'm really happy that I found this because it took. I have really wanted to use these, and oh, that's a nice effect. And um, the modders have stopped uploading, so or updating. So this is awesome. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you next time.